Hi friends, myself Dr. Vivek Shivasto, Associate Professor and Head, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. Today we will learn about the finite automata. Finite automata is considered as a machine having input tape and a finite control associated with this. The input tape is used for reading the inputs while this finite control can move in both the direction left or right. If we call that finite control can move in both the direction the machine is known as more generalized version of the finite automata that is known as Turing machine. If the restriction if we provide the restriction that it can move only the single direction then this is finite automata. Formally, we can define finite automata using the five tuples that is Q, Sigma, Delta, F, and S. Q is the set of states, sigma is the input alphabet, we can select any alphabet that can be a numeric <coughs> or letters, delta is the transition function, this is a transition function. set of final states and <clears throat> S is the start state. Start state. You will say you will see that in other convention S can be written as Q naught. This is simple as start state. Since F is the set of final states Therefore, F is the subset of set of states Q. If you want to design a machine that accepts A. It means we want to design a machine. If input is A, then machine can perform by predicting yes or no. If A is given, if A is given, then machine will produce yes and if any string <coughs> that is not A, then machine produce no. So, if we want to design such kind of machine, we use states and the diagram is known as transition diagram. Transition diagram. In transition diagram, a state is represented by the circle and any transition is represented by this arc or arrow. Suppose if we are in, in a stage Q0 and if any input is given A, 
moves to the state q1 another thing in transition diagram is that start state is represented by this convention and final state is represented by double circle so for if we want to design the machine that accepts a it means the language is w and w is nothing but a the machine is this we start from start state q0 and after giving input a it reaches to the state q1 suppose next we want to design the machine for a asterisk now first of all uh, we must be very clear that what is a asterisk a asterisk is nothing but the set of combination of a's it means what a asterisk contains all combination of a's including the null string null is represented by this symbol so this machine has been designed only for the accepting a and we want to design the machine for a asterisk it means we start from start state q0 and for single a it moves to the q1 and q1 is the final state and for multiple times a we place a self loop with a it means it can accept a as well as multiple times a a single a and double a single a fir single a and multiple times a such <clears throat> but what we observe <clears throat> in this and this the null string has been excluded null string is included in a asterisk but here we design the machine it excludes the null string so we have to incorporate the concept for inclusion of the null string it means how we design a machine that accepts the null string now this is the crucial point if a start state and final state is same then we say that this machine accepts null string so this machine is designed for null so this is for null and this is for a double a triple a many combination of a's and our primary question is to design the machine for this a asterisk so we have to merge these two so how can we finalize this this can be finalized using this one so this is the final machine for a asterisk because if null is included in this machine and multiple times a single a is accepted by this machine because initial state is same, same as the final state and since a is the self loop therefore multiple times a has been accepted by this machine so this is the machine we have designed for a asterisk so now you have learned about the formal description of the finite automata as well as 
the state transition diagram we can use transition table also for example in transition table we write input here then we write state here input next state suppose we want to design the transition table for this machine then q0 is start state and input is a if input is a it moves back to the state q0 and q0 is also the final state so we represent q0 by this convention so this is the transition table for a asterisk let us take another example in which we have to design a machine for a b asterisk for example if we elaborate the formal description of finite automata then we have q that is set of states we have to decide for designing this machine but sigma is the set of inputs that has been given a and b for this this is q0 start state then a then we place a state q1 and p asterisk this is q2 so this diagram in in which i have represented b asterisk in arc this diagram is known as generalized transition diagram because we have not elaborated this one so first of all if you want to design a machine for the language we have to write the generalized transition diagram after that we elaborate this portion so how we will proceed for this earlier you know the concept of b asterisk b asterisk if you want a single machine that accepts b asterisk the machine is this only we have to concatenate b asterisk with a so the machine is this one so this is the final machine for accepting the language given a b asterisk again we want to the transition diagram for this machine so we have to write this transition diagram involves the two states first is q0 that is initial state second one is q1 which is final state final state is represented by circle and this is arrow preceded by the state initial state and the transition input a and input b when input is a on q0 then we move to state q1 when input is b and we are in q0 no transition has been defined we left it blank when state is q1 and input is a at input a no transition has been defined we left blank and when input is b and you are in q1 then move back to the q1 then you have to write q1 so this is the transition diagram for this finite machine
suppose if we want to formally write this machine so as you know you have to write all these tuples f and q0 so q0 contains the set of states that is q0 q1 sigma is set of inputs that is a and b f is a set of final state here final state is only the q1 q0 is a start state delta is the transition function we have to write the expression for the delta so how can we write the expression for the delta delta contains two arguments delta when you are in a state q0 and input is a then it moves to the q1 so this is the first transition defined here second one is when you are in a state q1 and input is b then you move to the state q1 so delta is defined by two transitions so this is the formal description of the machine that is accepting abs trick and earlier you have seen the state transition diagram this is the transition table for this language